I forgot to show you something in the last uh, tutorial, which was that um, having derived your squiggles in your table, either by means of drawing them in or by means of uh, recording them in, um, it reads through. Um, but if I were to slow down the metro, it's currently on 50. Um, but if I slow that down, you will notice, hopefully, in particular if I do some uh, more extravagant squiggles in my table, you will notice that the movements of the, <laughs> there you go, particularly there, the, the fader become rather uh, jumpy. Um, so what might and that's because you know as as it reads through the table you can see that you're only getting a value every time this updates this uh, number box updates or the counter out, outputs a new number um so you're not going to get a smooth fader movement in the same way as you did perhaps when you recorded it um so slowing it down is going to uh make your movements more jerky so there's a way in which we can smooth those things out um, and if I open another patch that I've pre-done, I should make that a bit clearer. We have what is called a line object. And a line object is a means of an interpolating between numbers. Um, what it takes predominantly is, is, is two, two numbers in a list. Um, the first one tells, you, tells it where to go. And the second one tells it how long it should take to get there. So it will always count to the first number from wherever it is at the moment to uh, the next number over the... Uh, sorry, to the number that you send in um, over the period of the second uh, number that it receives. So in this case, uh, line is currently on zero because it defaults to zero when you make it. Um, so now if I tell it to, if I press this, it will count to 50 over 1000 milliseconds, which is a second. If I then tell it to count to 0 over 2000 milliseconds, it will do exactly that. So it, it, it's, um, it's, it's kind of like using metro and counter. It's just that uh, counter will only count over, well, counter will count every time it, it is told to count by metro, whereas this one kind of automatically count over a period of time that you specify. Um, so that could be quite useful. Um, if we... Um, yeah, so I, I, again, I count 50. Incidentally, when it's there, when it is at 50, and if I were to press 50 1000 again, it will remain at 50. Um, because it's being told to count to 50 from 50 over a 1000 milliseconds, so it doesn't actually go anywhere. It is kind of performing, a, performing an operation it's still kind of counting, but it's it's not going to it's not going to go anywhere in terms of what what it outputs because it's already at fifty. Um, so we'll do the same thing over here, uh, fifty over one thousand milliseconds. But on this side, uh, I've got a, a message with only one number in it, the number zero. Um, and what happens here is that uh, line will interpret that as being go to this number, which is zero, over zero milliseconds. So it will go there immediately. So that's quite useful, potentially, because we could we could jump to there and then perform our count, jump to there, perform our count. So that's that could be quite useful. In the same way, uh, if I were to click on 50 with nothing in it, it says go to 50 over zero milliseconds. So it jumps there, and then I can count down to... 0 over 1000 milliseconds, 50 go down over one, uh, to 0 over 1000 milliseconds. We can combine these two operations into a single message, um, which we do in the next little bit over here. So if I send it a 50 with a comma to 0 over 1000 milliseconds, that's what it will do. So line is currently on 0. If I click on this one, it jumps to 50 and then counts down to zero immediately afterwards. So we could continuously press this 
and it saves me having to click on the first one then you know perform the second operation click on this one perform the second operation so it's a way of, of, of jumping to a particular value over a, a particular period of time um, so that's how line works and uh, I mean it's, it's, this one again is doing exactly the same if I connect these to to line then in this case it will jump to 1000 for wherever it's at which is currently zero so we won't even notice that, it will just go to 1000 and then it will count up to 10,000 over 500 milliseconds so it does that very quickly and then the next one um, jumps to 10,000 and then counts down to zero over 10,000 milliseconds so it does that, well it was already at 10,000 so it didn't have to jump but it's counting down to zero over 10,000 milliseconds OK, so that is the line object. Why might it be useful to us? Um, well, uh, let's skip through this because I've just explained all of that. <clears throat> well, if we go back to our um, original example, don't need to save that, what we can do is um, insert a line object under here. Um, so a line object, whoops, hello, line, line object there. What we need to do is again to have a, a message with two items in a list uh, which tell it where to go and how long to get there. Well we know where it's got to go because that's going to be the number that's coming out of table. How long it takes to get there, um, well we'll have a look. So if I put in a pack object and I put in two values, doesn't really matter what they are, they're just placeholders at the moment, and I send that to here, <coughs> that will give us, um, basically nothing will happen other than what we've already um, been encountering, so the number will come into here, it will go into pack, and it will say go to that value over zero milliseconds, so that, uh, so line will basically jump there, um, so that will we're still getting jerks. But if I were to connect the output of uh, the the, uh, the output of the, the number box up here that's controlling the speed of metro, if I connect that to the right hand side, then every time I change this, it's saying every uh, metro is counting at um, sending a bang at 272 milliseconds, which means that we're getting a new number at that rate. And then line is getting a message that says go to this number over that period. So the same period that Metro is sending a bang is the period over which the uh, the line object is functioning. And therefore you get a much smoother line as you can see. You get a much smoother movement in the in the table. It's always um, gently moving. And if I put a message box up here maybe it'll make it clear what what uh, packs actually send him. You see everything is 270 everything takes 272 milliseconds to get from wherever it's just been to wherever it's about to go. I mean if it's only one one uh, one number change each time then that's not going to be a problem but where where there are jumps of say four or five numbers then it will take 272 milliseconds to to go from that uh, bet between those numbers. Okay, I'm sure I've run out of time now. No, I haven't actually. Um, all right. Uh, well, I, I will. I'll stop there because there's the next tutorial will um, uh, will go over that with an example.